what impresses you about a about a, a, a candidate going through a process and what and equally what what, what are the watch outs? What should people not do? Yeah, look, it's oh, my, the first point I make is everyone is different. So every interviewer is different and every interviewee is different. Um, I've learned that through experience, but also um, you know, just chatting to people as well. Um, and and uh, the first thing I would say is um, the key is building rapport with whoever's interviewing you. Because at the end of the day, the person, you, I, I, I mean, virtually every every um, process that someone goes through, obviously they'll be interviewed by the line manager at some point in that process. Yeah. Obviously there'll be HR or, or peers or whatever, but building the rapport with the person that you're going to work for in a very close capacity uh, is important because um, in the day, you know, you hope as, a, as someone who's um, looking to bring someone into the team, if you've got two or three strong candidates, it's the one that you kind of sit there and go, actually, that's a person that I'm going to be able to engage with and have good conversations with and have fun and have a laugh and have that sense of rapport because in the day, you know, you, you're working very closely with your team um, and you spend a lot of time with these people. So building that rapport is critical. And I know it's not easy sometimes because people are different. Uh, and you've only got an hour, generally, or 45 minutes to, 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 to connect. Uh, and there's obviously a lot of functional questions and experience-led questions, but trying to build that rapport, it, I think, is, is critical. Mm -hmm. um, and demonstrating, the main thing I said is demonstrating for me, the important thing is demonstrating that learning agility, um, irrespective of experience. I mean, because, uh, you know, if you if you made it to interview stage, your CV's probably got some level of experience that kind of goes, oh, this person's of interest. So it's really demonstrating that learning agility. And, and is that, um, in, uh, just to get, uh, take that point of learning agility, is that being able to kind of show a, a, a curiosity for, for, for doing more, being able to kind of say, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, this role really excites me, but it's what else I can do. Yeah, exactly. But it's also, I think, you know, the difference is not reading from your CV, you're going, this is all the things I've done. Yeah. Because some, you know, you can touch on that and hopefully someone's read that, but it's demonstrating the detail under those points in your CV, say the two or three main achievements that match up to the, the role spec uh, um, of, of, the, of the job and going, actually, these are the two or three examples that I can show you that demonstrate my learning agility. Because sometimes people don't have the exact, you know, I mean, some job specs say there's 15 things that hopefully a candidate can yeah, take and it's, yeah. just, it's, it's almost impossible. But to say, hey, listen, you know, through my experience, even though specifically I might not match all 15 tick boxes, I can mm -hmm. show you the le learning, I, I can demonstrate the learning agility through these different experiences that can match up very yeah. well to that to show that I can, um, uh, I can, uh, you know, fulfill all the, all the key aspects of the role. Great. I think your point of rapport is, is great as well. Too often it's missed. Yeah. People, I think, sometimes are nervous or they're, they're so focused on getting, you know, their, their pitch across that they, they forget it's another person you meet. Yeah. You know, and, um, you, know, it, you know, that person wants to like you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they're going to work with yeah. you. <laughs> so spend some time yeah. figuring out what you've got in common or, yeah. or, or uh, having that conversation, but uh, not so um, easily missed. Yeah.